there, it's Dave with House Flipping Spreadsheet, and this is a quick video tutorial on how you can manage and track your change orders in the new House Flipping Spreadsheet 6. So I've got the accounting workflow page opened up here, and I'm gonna show you a couple different tools where you can manage your change orders. So the first one is the project budgeter. So on the budgeter, if you scroll down to the very bottom, you've got an area where you have your adders, contingency, and change orders. So when you first analyze a deal, you can set up your adders and your contingency that you build into your estimate. So you'll see on this uh, estimate we here, we've got about $49,000 is our base estimate made at cost for this project. But then we've got some additional costs on here. So the contractor's overhead and profits, 10%. We've got some costs in here for the building permit, and then we've got some costs in here for contingency. So basically what that creates is a contingency budget for the project. So we think, you know, the base estimate for the estimated cost is around $50,000, but there could be some additional costs to pay the contractor and or some additional costs for contingency. So if there's some unforeseen items in the repairs, something when you open up a wall and maybe there's some additional repairs, maybe there's some mold, maybe there's some old wiring that needs to be removed from the property. Um, that's what that contingency budget is really for. So right now we've got an additional $13,000 to kind of cover those extra costs on the project. So that feeds over to the project budgeter tool into that adders uh, contingency and change order section down here at the bottom. So again, right now we've got our budgeted costs and then we've got some additional uh, change order uh, contingency costs down here at the bottom, which we're using to cover any kind of unforeseen repairs that happen on the project. So, so how do you manage or track a change order if you do have a change order on your project? So to do that, we're gonna go over to the expense tracker. So if you go to the expense tracker here, this is where you're gonna track all of your project expenses. So you can see, you can input um, your project costs. So we're starting to calculate all of our project costs here, and then you can categorize it based upon the expense category column here. So let's say that we have a change order for building a new deck on the property. So let's say order, let's say change order number two, build, new deck okay um, let's say that we paid paid it out of our checking account we paid it to our affordable rehab and remodeling contractor now this is the one that you can use to track the change order so this is typically your your category column where you would typically you know allocate this to decking and patios well, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can track it as a change order. So when you track it as a change order, it's actually gonna uh, put this value toward the budgeted section on the project budgeter. So if you go down to the project budgeter now, we have $5,000 for this change order. If you scroll down to the bottom, you should see $5,000 now is being taken out of our change order budget here on the project budgeter. So right now we have $13,000 budgeted for change orders. Our first change order that we have in the expense tracker is worth $5,000. So now we've spent to date $5,000 out of our contingency budget on change orders. So if we are done with the project and maybe we don't run into any more change orders, you would say we're 100% complete. So now you can see we're forecasting that we're only going to spend $5,000 for change orders, which is $8,800 less than our $13,800 budget that we had allocated for change orders on the project. So that's how you can manage that. Again, your contingency budget is essentially set up when you initially analyze the deal and set up your budget. Um, then you can track all of your change orders directly in the income and expense tracker. So you can just track it as a regular expense and then you'll just categorize it using the expense category dropdown as a change order, which will basically feed it over to the project budgeter. Now, once you do that, we've also got some different reporting options that help you track that as well. So if you go to the um, expense by summary report, you should see at the bottom, 
you've got your change order tracked here, $5,000. Another good one is going to be the expense by category report. So the expense by category report is going to show you all of your expenses by each category, but then you'll see that the change order has its own category as well. So you can see how much you spent on change orders. And this is where it really gets good is when you go down to the bottom, you can see the details of all of your different categories here. So if you scroll down to the very bottom, you should see a list of all of your change orders that you had on the project. So if you had multiple change orders here, it would show you a list of all of your change orders on the project, and then it would show you what your total is for the change orders on the project as well. So that's a, a quick overview of how you can manage and track your change orders using the project budgeter and the income and expense tracker. If you have any other questions or anything, please let me know. Thanks. Bye.